Her wedding is nearly here. Will she marry a prince or a rock star? Seven's Home and Away is next. Previously on Home and Away. You're the only one that can save her. Look, it's not up to me to save her, April, okay? I'm not your puppet. This is my life we're talking about and I'm sick of wasting it. Okay, you are grounded for a month and that is final. But, Charlie... I have a date with Jackson. No informal, no date, no nothing. That's it. Home and school. I want you to throw a Victoria Bucks party on the night of the informal. I'll give you a break, Xavier. You're obviously up to something. You want to rope me in on it. Which is fine. It is. From what I hear, the bloke's loaded. I want to get in his ear about how many fantastic investment opportunities there are in the bay. Keep a close eye on my daughter. Don't be afraid to take a firm hand with her. She might fight you, but she'll thank you for it later. A hundred thousand dollars? It's a lot of money to move. You could get into a lot of trouble for that, love. I'm doing it for Martha. Why do I do these things to myself? You know, waiting on a bunch of loved-up year 12s isn't really my idea of a fun Friday night. I mean, you shouldn't have volunteered, should you? Yeah, I thought you were looking forward to helping out tonight, Doc. Yeah, I was, Irene, but someone pulled out and now all the fun's gone. Mm. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, so am I. Well, if it's any consolation, I'm stuck at the wretched evening on my own because somebody needs to take part in a male bonding ritual. I'm pretty sure he has absolutely no interest in it. I'm sorry, I'm not cancelling Bianca. It's a good chance for me to meet some people. I feel sorry for you. A provincial pub crawl with near strangers twice your age. I'd rather have teeth pulled. I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. I still got to get my suit fitted. Thank you for breakfast, ladies. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. Bye, Ciao. Ciao. <clears throat> Have fun tonight. Not too much fun, if you know what I mean. How many pups can there be? Hmm? Diamo. Get out of here. There's something decidedly wrong with this picture if everyone has plans for tonight except me. Irene, why don't we hit the town? We can't let the boys have all the fun. What, you, you and me? Sure. You can show me the high life of Yabby Creek. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, thank you, Joanna. That's a lovely suggestion, but I've got a big date work. And I was kind of looking forward to just a quiet night at home, you well, know? That's why dinner out's perfect. Someone else can wait on you for a change. And after everything you've done, the least I can do is buy you dinner. Well, gee, how can I resist an offer like that, then? <laughs> perfect, it's a date. <laughs> I must say, I am looking forward to tonight. I just hope they're not too hard to handle. You know what teenagers can be like? Ah, oh, shouldn't be a problem. I have a natural rapport with the younger generation. I'm pretty hip, you know. <laughs> I can't believe we actually pulled this off. Tonight is going to be awesome. Yeah, considering my exam results, I don't think I deserve it, but I really need it. Can you just stop stressing about the future for five minutes? Everything is going to be fine, trust me. Well, it's easy for you to say. Next year you'll be knee-deep in uni study and blondes, and I'll be repeating it well. Yeah, who says I like blondes? Perfect timing, guys, as usual. Mm, yes, just in time for me to start my night of hell. Ignore her. She's just bummed because her matchmaking plans went haywire. Liam's not coming. Since when? All right, enough of the chit-chat. There's still lots to do. Let's get a wriggle on. Come on, you two. I just want to know why you're getting involved. I mean, do you know what you're letting yourself in for? Of course I do. The whole consultancy cover thing was my idea. Yeah, but if you get caught, it's, it's, it's aiding and abetting fugitives. You could go to jail. Yeah, I know that, which is why we have to make damn sure we don't get caught. No, no, Martha and Hugo, they're our flesh and blood. It, it's different for you. It's more to family than flesh and blood, Alf. I'm trying to make a family with Gina. You know, I understand the risks. Look, I love her. I would do anything for her. I want to marry her. If this is what she needs me to do, then I'll do it. There must be something you can say to change your mum's mind. You obviously haven't met my mother. Well, hey, this is a surprise. Shouldn't you be at home? No, it's much more fun here. I don't know if Charlie would agree. Yeah, look, um, I've got to head up. I'll see you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, Charlie won't know it won't hurt her. It's really hot. Oh, yeah, he definitely thinks so. So tell me how this came about, because I think two days ago, Jackson barely knew you existed, and now you two are all over each other. I know it's great, right? And a smarty pants. Jackson's liked me for ages. He's just been too busy studying to have a girlfriend. Oh, OK, and now he's not studying? Anything's possible. And since lucky me happened to be at the right party at the right time, it's all come together. Ruby, if you're about to tell me that this is fake. Why not, Nick? I mean, he's hot, he's 
funny, he's mature-ish. I mean, he might be my true love. Oh, and from what I can tell in class, I think Jackson's true love might actually be himself. Okay, being confident isn't a crime, it's sexy. And you don't know, he could be the one. I thought Alexander was the one. Okay, shut up. Since when did being grounded come with day passes to the dining rooms? Okay, I know I'm pushing things with Charlie, but I need to hang out with Jackson, you know, to cement things. Especially as I might not be going tonight. Excuse me, what do you mean, might not be going tonight? Well, I can always beg, can't I? Wish me luck. Hey, hey, what's this I hear about you not coming to the informal? I thought this was your big chance with Bianca. Yeah, listen, things change, man. I'm going to be up the coast. You're always running away from her, aren't you? You know you make a mistake. Listen, I'm really not in the mood for a pep talk or any advice. Please, I'll make one decision. What do you mean you're not coming? You have to come. No, I don't. And before you ask why, it's because I don't want to. No, but it's important. OK, these are the moments that we remember. They're special. You know, and this is your first year of teaching. Don't you want to celebrate that? You know, especially since you've made such a huge impact. Huge impact? That mess with Ruby, the bailing on Gina. And don't get me started on this disaster with Bianca. Why not? That's what this is really about, isn't it? Oh, OK, if that is what this is really about, then that's really sad. Because tonight isn't actually about her, it's about the students. You know, and you've made such a difference in their lives. Don't you at least owe it to them to suck it up and be there? Hey, Charlie. Um, can we just talk about tonight just one more time? I know that taking Sid's car was wrong. And I'm so, so sorry about that. But if you would just let me go to the informal, you can give me whatever punishment you want, please. It is just, it's one night. Do you even know what time it is? I know I'm a little bit late, but I... But what? What part about being grounded don't you understand? I mean, it's a pretty straightforward concept. You go straight to school and straight home. That's what we agreed. Actually, we didn't agree to anything because you didn't actually give me a say. Oh, right, so that big speech you just gave me about accepting responsibility, that was just for show then? No, I meant that. No, Ruby, you didn't. Because they're just words to you. You will say whatever it takes to get what you want, you always do. And it might work with Angelo, but not with me. Charlie! And going behind my back with him? Big mistake. If you had any chance of changing my mind about tonight, it's gone. But this is so important. What if I'm right about Jackson? What if he's... I don't care, him? OK? I do not care about Jackson. I do not care about your stupid obsession with Mincy's prediction. You are not to set foot outside this house tonight. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. OK, look, I'd say that you look hot, but you're kind of like my brother now, so that would just be a little bit gross. Oh, but you, Mr Stewart, on the other hand, are looking very sharp. Yeah, all the single ladies of Yabby Creek better watch out tonight. Well, I wouldn't go that far, mate, but I do plan to blow the froth off a couple of cold ones. Oh, well, you definitely deserve it after everything you've been put through lately. Well, I could say the same to you, darling. <laughs> I'll cut that out. We're going to a party. Oh. Yeah, let's have some fun. Oh, good day. Hello. Hello. You look amazing. <laughs> Am I the luckiest guy in the world or what? Yes, you are. <laughs> hey, righto, you two. Wind it back a bit, eh? Yes. Now, come on. Miles wanted a photograph of all of you lot before this oh, event, so get over there and bunch up. Oh, no, baby, it's just true. You have to be in it. No, 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 no. no. Don't be absolutely <laughs> stupid. Righto, biggest and best smiles and happy informal. Happy informal. <laughs> right, let's get this show on the road, eh? Um, anybody need a lift, you kids, huh? Uh, Indy and I are fine. We're getting picked up in a limo, thanks to Marilyn. You've spent more of her money. She already gave you the bond. But she'll get back. If you behave yourself. Listen, don't worry. I'll keep an eye on them. OK, thanks. No, Indy, listen. Dad, are you really going to give me the big going out speech of uh, all these people? Yes, I am. Now, no drinking. It's talk. a non-alcohol event. <laughs> OK, well, that doesn't stop something, does it? Look, I want you to have a good time, but just in a mature... Mature and responsible fashion, yes. Says the man who's going to a box night. That sounds like our cue, mate. Let's get out of here, eh? Hey, have a good night, kids. All right, See you later. I'll leave in ten. Okay. Bye. Who are you calling? Oh, I just thought I'd try Liam, but it's his voicemail again. Do you really think he'll change his mind and come? I hope so. You know, because it's really not going to be the same without him. <laughs> 